Hi, I'm Steve Portugal. I'm a user research consultant in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm going to talk about asking questions, especially user research questions. First, specific questions are better than general questions. How do you typically choose a contractor? It's a hard question to answer. It presumes that the participant has a set of practices already in place. If they don't, they may make something up to address your question. So instead, ask about the last time they started a project and how, in that situation, they chose a contractor, and then ask about whether or not that represents a pattern. It's easier for the person to give you a more reliable answer that way. Now, there's two extensions to this principle. First, when people give a vague answer like, it doesn't work for me, follow up and ask for a specific example. Second, when people describe a process vaguely, ask them to show you that process. So ask follow-up questions to uncover the specifics when you get general answers to your initial question. A bad practice that many people default to is putting the answers in the question. A good question is, what happens to the package when it arrives? The bad practice is to say, what happens to the package when it arrives? Do you open it or hand it to someone else or... If you think that the participant can simply say, well, it's none of those, actually, you underestimate how much power you have when doing research. Eventually, a participant will reflect back the framework you give them because they want to do a good job. This is hard to stop doing, so keep practicing it. The naive approach to building rapport with someone that you're interviewing is thinking that you can connect with them by telling them the ways you're just like them. You've had the same experiences or reactions but it takes focus away from them, the participant. The best practice is to hold off on that reaction and keep asking them questions. The focus on them is what builds rapport. You can calmly and occasionally reveal your own perspective or experience if you need to normalize something they're uncomfortable about. If participants start asking questions like, will the next version have the search console integrated? Do not answer them. Once you do that, you become the expert and it's almost impossible to return to research mode where they are the expert and you are interested and curious. Use the researcher deflection and turn it around with, why is that important to you? Or if that is too confrontational, say it like this, I'm going to act like a researcher and turn it around and ask you, why is that important to you? In addition to people mispronouncing the name of your company, you'll also hear them wish for features that actually do exist. Do not interrupt the interview to explain your product to them. Keep quiet no matter how hard it is. Otherwise, you're making yourself the expert. At the end, when you're all done, you can tell them anything that would help them. But this isn't your chance to evangelize a new feature or encourage them to use your product in the way you hope they would. It's only for something they need help with. So be sensitive about it. Hey, you mentioned you were looking for video tutorials. Would you like me to show you some? Social scientists talk about natural language, the way people in a certain group refer to things. Local terminology may vary from yours. As you learn these terms from participants, reflect that back in the way you word your question. Don't try to be cool by utilizing shorthand. For instance, don't respond to a mention of National Geographic with Nat Geo. Instead, use the language that they use. This reinforces that they are the expert and that you're curious about their perspectives. You should definitely have a list of questions prepared, but most of the questions you actually ask and the way that you ask them, it comes from what the person has said. You need to follow up to get clarity and additional detail until you get to the point where you understand what they're trying to tell you. When you go back to something from before, tell them, I want to go back to something you said before. When you change topics, just tell them that you're changing topics. Use a phrase like, Okay, I'm going to switch gears here, and maybe we can talk about planning out budgets now. This reinforces that you're paying attention to what they're telling you, and it's important, and you want to know more about it, and that you're partnering with them in this conversation, and you want to make sure they're tracking with you where it's headed. This really increases the rapport. For more from me about user research, check out my website, portugal.com. You can find info about two books that I've written, as well as my podcast. Thank you very much.